Guys, you know you can always count on Paul to give you the inside details on how to run an insurgency in Arma 3. That's right, we're checking out Soviet Wombles Random Antistasi BS Part 2. Let's get into it. Picking up the HQ and taking it to the swamp just to the north where we'll have better access to the resource tiles and it's in the swamp where it's going to be hard for the enemy to attack us effectively. Okay guys, this is actually sort of a reasonable scenario. Now, okay, you're in the swamp. The swamp is a good choice for a base because, as Soviet points out, it is not valuable to the enemy and it is terrain that civilians don't often go to. The problem is, is that it is an area civilians don't often go to. So if the enemy has air superiority, it's going to be fairly easy for them to locate your base in the swamp. Now, a better bet is if you can be an incognito civilian, your base should be in the main city, in, say, an apartment complex. Again, you want to be able to mitigate the decisive air power that the enemy is going to bring if you're an insurgency right so that's so a swamp is sort of an option but there's no cover if you do get discovered you will be eliminated almost within uh, minutes right so let's find a place to keep petros safe i suppose this is good isn't it yeah it's you know it's, it's a bit basic, but you know. I feel like it's got character. Yeah, homely. This big hole in the side isn't just a hole in the side. No, it's, it brings in light to make the room feel more airy and natural. You get like a western swamp breeze. We have a sky mm. slide here installed specifically to. Yeah, yeah, someone who recently bought a house, this is absolutely brilliant. The uh, uh, All they need is to use some incredible. Uh, fisheye lenses and some filters and creative lighting effects to really give it that open airy modern feel and then you walk in and you're like no this isn't a skylight someone just punched a hole in the ceiling catch the 4 p.m sun as it sets across the swamp yeah if you get peckish cyanide at any point you can just dig into the ground to get some mealworms yeah look, look, look. You know? fyi you know what loves mealworms chickens they go bananas for mealworms was not expecting it. My wife is not loving the fact that their treats are freeze-dried mealworms, but I think it's hilarious. We will you have our gilded marble-hauled government houses once we've taken control of Altis. Yes. Small stuff, Should okay? Be inside the BMD. I hate this place. I want to go back to my condo. <laughs> Yeah, the condo would be a much better place, though, unless the government already knows you're an insurgent, in which case you, you're sort of in trouble. Now, what you would want to do here is take a bunch of steps to do one of two things. One is to make it look like a civilian farming establishment, or two, to put as much of it as possible underground, outside the visibility of satellites, which the Russian government also has. That's, that's who they're fighting in this scenario or aircraft um that of course the underground base method is a favor of the Viet Cong, but to do so the soil needs to be able to support some tunneled networks um though it's certainly possible to have a s small bunkers underneath these sort of buildings uh, peeking over taking shots i think we're taking sniper fire from the radio tower someone check Oh shit, Chinny! Fuck, Chinny's been hit. Sniper oh, killed. Sniper killed. Okay, stand by. Hang on. Chinny, how much morphine do you have? You have an entire platoon's worth of morphine. Ooh, 77. That is like a lethal dose for most people. But as you as you guys probably know, if you are addicted to opiates, you develop a tolerance. So that is something that probably indicates that he is addicted to opioids. Opiates. Are you dealing drugs? Yeah, of course the fucking northerners are smackhead. Bloody hell. Contact! Oh, Christ! Oh, no, I've been shot. Fucking heavy fire. Is someone stabilizing Soviet? Confirm. Just gonna give me some epi now. I'm alive! I'm in lots of pain. Why didn't you give me morphine? Because they're mine. Fuck you. Oh, nah, ha, ha, ha. Maximum pain level. For Christ's sake. Is Gracie okay? Your dog okay? Dude, she has this problem. The moment we leave her alone, she tears into a garbage bag and tries to eat whatever the fuck's in there. I know the asshole ate an entire Domino's barbecue dip. She has okay, Domino's barbecue dip is disgusting. Disgusting. And I say this as someone who likes Domino's, who actually, you know, 
If you want to know something interesting, one of the best investments of the last 10 years is Domino's Pizza Stock. That's right. That's because they actually started to do something that almost no other fast food chain has ever attempted to do, and that's to make their food less like shit. And they succeeded for a while. But, of course, the pandemic has forced every company to become, uh, as an excuse, I mean, to uh, cut costs at every turn. So now they're sort of back to being garbage. I mean, when I order a Domino's pizza, and I've stopped, actually. Uh, sorry, Domino's. If, you'll never sponsor me. Uh, like, literally, a third of my pizza has no cheese on it at all. Like, whoever whoever's left working there, whoever hasn't quit, is just, like, gives no shits about the fact. Or they're told, don't give them so much cheese. It's a pizza. Cheese is, a, is the essential component. Otherwise, I'm just eating bread. I can get breadsticks anywhere. I had diarrhea once, so she's got a stomach of steel. They say dogs are like their owners. I don't stoop low enough to, you know, tear into a garbage bag. When you're sober. Uh, I don't speak for drunk side. Nobody speaks Nobody for drunk side. <laughs> Come on. We all have a friend like that. <laughs> I mean, alternatively, a factory would also be a good strike opportunity. Guys, okay, I'm just going to point this out. Mm, I may buy it, well, it may violate YouTube's terms of service, but would you be interested in learning more about what, uh, what it's like to actually fight an insurgency or how insurgencies actually think, not this, like, gamified version? Because, again, every time I see them dressed like this, and you've seen this in every Antistasi video I've done so far, every time they dress... Like, it, 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 they, they look like the LARP gun people on Instagram, right? Who, don't get me wrong, obviously the algorithm puts them in front of me so they know I, I watch them, right? And some of it's pretty funny, like, uh, uh, what's his name, administrative results, right? He has actually some pretty hilarious content. But, if you were actually an insurgent, this looks like the shoot me outfit. I mean, I, I, I wouldn't even need to know anything about the area and I would know that I'm supposed to shoot this guy. Let's bring the car up. Again, see, this is what you want, right? This this, this guy looks too old to be a soldier, dressed like a complete jabroni, uh, and frankly is probably an organized crime member who is a great person to know as an insurgent because you need money and you're already doing things that are illegal and anti-government. So why not take advantage of your proficiency in this by leveraging it by helping out organized crime. Sorry? My pen is huge. Your pen? Ready to check? Is huge. Pen is huge. Is he flirting with us? My pen is huge. My pen is huge. Why Stop do we... Not... Yeah, what are you talking about? I remember a tall amble of the You're right. <laughs> What's up with him? Someone took the last cookie out of the cookie jar. <laughs> I think it was me. Yeah, and sometimes you can actually find customers for your drugs just by, you know, being an insurgent or create your own customers by getting them high on whatever it is you're carrying. Hey, so how many drugs have you been yeah, on? Yeah, is he fucking high? You're going to compromise the operation? No, it's very red. He's high as fuck, isn't he? So we're going to very carefully wreck the objective and we're going to try and get as close as we can. Honestly, okay, so if you're a if you're a Russian soldier, someone pulls up to you at a checkpoint and someone is just drunk off their ass and, and, and high as fuck and their exasperated buddy is driving them around, that would be the least suspicious thing on earth, right? That would be like patterns of daily life. Maybe not in Afghanistan, 100%. Two dudes showing up in a truck driving like a, a load of like chickens or something or, or feed and they're just baked out of their mind we just be like yep seen this move along guys can to the factory we're just workers okay we're just late for our shift we're just gonna casually walk in right hang on chinny you stay with the car azen and neville come with me okay just a bunch of regular joes on their way to their shift, okay? Oh god, I've got a really bad feeling about this. Yeah, and the tactical backpack. But, but other than that, they look normal. Just make sure to give me a heads up when you're ready to skedaddle, alright? Oh, there we on the left there. Yeah, just stay casual, stay cool. We're meant to be here. Okay, this just is good. Right this is here. good, this is good, yeah, yeah, yeah. My window key is not working. It's fine, uh, give, me, give, give me the charge, give me the charge. It didn't know my backpack. Alright, shh, shh, shh. Keep watching, Hazen. Oh, shit, 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 it's working. I casual, I casual. 
Good morning. La 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 la. Okay, okay, okay. Shh. Yeah, this is this is actually the most realistic mission so far. You notice they're not targeting a military installation. They're targeting a civilian installation. They're targeting something that is infrastructure. This is of course done to tell the the to communicate to the populace that the government, the current occupying force, is powerless to ensure stability, and that as long as they exist, that conditions will continue to deteriorate for the local population. Now, is this a, a is this morally right to basically make life worse for innocent civilians while resisting an occupation? No, morally it's pretty repugnant. But it, is it effective? Yes, absolutely. People will totally get sick of it. Plus, there's propaganda value just in being effective. You know, it's like the remember the government's goal is to ensure peace and stability so as long as you do something anything to disrupt peace and stability you're striking a blow against the government shh, shh, shh. Right, the second bomb okay you guys start heading to the car i'll join you soon all right the bird is in the bin and it's been fed the worm the bird is in the bin and has been fed a worm get to the car before anyone notices that there's a fucking explosive charge in the factory Right, we're good. We get in the fucking car. Get in the fucking car. Did you forget about the time? Just go, just go, just go, go. I've got it on a trigger. I've got it on a trigger. We're good. We're good. Ready? Ready? Do it. What? 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 What, what is that building made of? <laughs> oh, come the fuck on. I mean, this is also extremely typical. Uh, there's actually video um, that I saw again of an attack, probably from 2000. Eight, uh, of Taliban attempting to break into a U.S. base. Now, as we've talked about, the U.S. bases are secured by basically just giant mesh wire baskets that are probably six feet tall by four feet by four feet filled with dirt. And they're a great barrier, especially you put some uh, razor wire on top and it is actually very, very secure. However... Taliban were like, we're going to blow up one of these. They're called HESCO barriers. We're going to blow up a HESCO barrier. And then our forces are going to infiltrate. Well, they miscalculated the amount of explosives. And in order to ensure that they blew a hole in the security gate, they used so many explosives that they actually concussed their entire invading force. They're, every single one of them was like a punch drunk fighter, barely able to walk, sort of stumbling haphazardly through. Now again, as we talked about, sometimes you can fail your way to success, as we've seen here. At the very least, every factory worker there will be going home to their families and telling them how the rebels attacked their factory and they barely made it out alive. Right, every it's going to make it look like while nothing was destroyed, that the rebels were still able to humiliate the government by attacking a sensitive site. Uh, <laughs> we genuinely suck, folks. You suck. I planted the detonators just fine. I did to reset my game, by the way. Just get in the fucking car. I did to reset my game, fuck you. Oh, Why? God. Chinny, where did you buy those explosives? Sketchy Irishman. Is there a slight clue in his name, the fact that he's a sketchy Irishman? It's sketchy because the fact that it's not bombs, all right? Could you not have bought it from the totally legitimate and highly competent Irishman? We make do with the one that sells this shit, rather than the ones that don't. Oh, for Christ's sake. Don't speed, dude, seriously. Like, everyone travels top speed and then they just spin out of control and then we wonder why all our vehicles are broken. Every single time we drive somewhere, it happens. Look, so, guys, come on. I just got rear-ended by a fucking civvy. There goes your no-claims bonus. Mmm. Oh, wow. That is a very secure gas station. You kill him. You killed him. You just you just killed him. You can't make a claim if you're dead. <laughs> what the shit? My no-claims bonus is safe. <laughs> Lapis, has Moogle done something to offend you? Left, left, left. <laughs> is this, uh, is this Ohio? Always has been. That's my seat if it's, uh, flyable. Yeah, someone locked it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, again, guys, there's nothing subtle about this. Unless it's a captured Russian vehicle, in which case you should wear all Russian gear and really try to use that to infiltrate. 
that if you can pass yourself off as a friendly or allied military force, it is so incredibly effective. It can get you access. It can create massive confusion when the enemy tries to respond to your attacks. It can, it, it, it can just be one of the most effective tactics. And we saw it very, very clearly in the later half of the war in Afghanistan with what are sometimes called blue on green incidents, where exactly this would happen. Taliban or insurgents would infiltrate Afghan security forces and then use to wait for an opportune time to kill US US forces who believed they were around allies. You also saw this in Iraq, but usually less than attacking um, Iraqi or less than attacking American soldiers, they would actually use their um, police uniforms, often police or sometimes army uniforms, and they would attack uh, other ethnic targets and that the goal of that was to actually create an eth uh, an ethnic civil war within the country and they were wildly successful at that as well because again people believed that the police were killing for example sunnis or shias in mass and that they would not only distrust the government but they would distrust the opposing sectarian force so we're six dudes in this truck? I think so, yeah. <laughs> what is that? What's that? <laughs> Why do I recognize that? It's the porn hub thing. That's what I thought. I <laughs> did not recognize that. I thought it was, um... Is his girlfriend watching? <laughs> Hi, Gorty! He's been so touching been himself. To in the toilet. <laughs> Wait, no, you don't have the audio on when you watch Pornhub. Yeah, you do. No, you watch it in total silence. Maybe with some classical music. Yeah, some classical music? Fun fact, despite being the strongly, strongly uh, religious uh, and puritanical faction, uh, when we would capture insurgent cell phones in Afghanistan, we would uh, do what, what's sometimes called exploitation, which is pulling off all the data from those cell phones. Every single thing, every file, every folder, every number they had called, every contact, and we would feed it into a larger database where Intel analysts would link it all together. But not before we had a chance to review it ourselves. And the answer is, they were quite big fans of what Soviet and his friends were just discussing. And I mean literally big fans. They preferred performers who were exceptionally rotund. That's all I got. No, no, someone's doing leaflet missions and someone's doing the propaganda. Yeah, imagine if you are an aircraft doing a flyover and you see this. There is no debate that the swamp people are up to something. Right? Do these meetings inside a building. Again, I know in the game it's not really an issue, but in real life, like... Like, like really, the rocket launcher? Okay. Three, the three of you are going to be in the truck, dropping the leaflets off. The rest of you can go on that off the boat. Cover me, I want to go on the slide. No, you don't. You're going to get shot. <laughs> More shots from the northeast. <laughs> Why is Moogle driving again? <laughs> yeah, goddammit, Moogle. Oh my god. Oh, Moogle. The rock talking out in front of me, I swear. <laughs> yeah. It's cool that you can check the rear view mirror. Whoever that is in the rear vehicle, I'm going as fast as I can, but I'm stuck behind some dick in a red truck. He <laughs> isn't going very fast. Slow and steady. Safety. He's driving through a swamp, man. How much, I mean, how fast can you go? He's about to, he's about to float this thing away. First, when on the road. But we're not on. Okay, guys, I'm just going to point this out, that if you don't live in an area with flooding, you should know that it does not take a very high level of water to cause a car to float away. Remember, your tires are inflatable. So, literally, you are rolling on four inflatable tires. So, all the water needs to do is come up to your undercarriage and just be just at a level where the tires can lift it ever so slightly because once you get even the slightest bit of disconnect from the ground the water owns your car so if you're driving even a a you know truck with a lot of clearance then your ability to get through water may be a bit greater but for most vehicles you're talking about less than 18 inches of water can take your car for a ride on a road all the more reason we have little traction with the surface of the road, which isn't the road, because it's a swamp. 
Counterpoint, I'm in command and I order you to stop complaining. Come here. What? Come here. Oh, what? Come what? What? Go into the garage. Okay. Go into the airplane section. Why? We don't have airplanes. Don't we? Is... <laughs> what? what? Three hours in an airfield with a long range sniper rifle, one what? click out, and then a pistol holdout for two hours, but I did manage to get that. Wait, in a swamp? Where did you land? I landed on the beach, and then I drove it from the beach to the base. We can't actually really use it. No! But. I feel like it's like a really nice, you know, <laughs> it's, it's the principle of it. You went and got a trophy. Yeah, it took me three hours. It's totally it. worth it. <laughs> Has he spent the entire afternoon doing that? Basically. I think so, yes. Oh, for fuck's sake. There's a speedboat over there. Okay, that is honestly brilliant. Um, and we've talked about this in previous videos. Insurgencies, their number one issue is logistics. It's hard to logistically support an insurgent operation period as we've seen even just getting quality I explosives and individual weapons is hard it's even harder to get quality uh vehicles and aircraft and it's not so much hard to get them but it's sort of like the mercedes-benz problem right buying a used mercedes or a used bmw is easy maintaining a used mercedes or bmw is hard and that is the problem you run into with aircraft it's exponentially harder right that do you where do you even have the types of lubricants fuels coolants that that aircraft takes no because they're specialized military products the only reason you can operate with say toyotas is because they use widely available parts and widely available fuel if it was say specialty jet fuel or requiring specialty repair parts that could only be gotten from military resources it would be it, it, they would all promptly break and not even break from use again just parking a car in the swamp after a, a not very long period of time and you'll start to have parts develop serious issues there, I've just realized why is there a speedboat oh, in the fucking swamp? cyanide can oh, somebody take away his vehicle buying privileges for fuck's sake what in the house bro see this is what's yeah, going about so the camel oh fuck in the building why, why are they why are they speaking in Geordie? I have absolutely no fucking idea. Taking the fucking flag, bruv. I'm in the fucking truck, let's go. Oh, fuck! In the fucking field! Why? Why is Conor McGregor in this fight now? Hey, why are we northern? Are you shot a down. fucking gun on him? These fucking glasses ain't prescription, man. <laughs> I'm deviating from the plan. I'm going for the fuel truck. Copy. I need to get this mine down and fast. Yeah, with grenades, there's some workers here. Okay, this is another great insurgent tactic is mining roads with command detonated mines. Really important because oftentimes you can detonate the mine from a considerable distance and if you place it correctly, you can have an easy way to exfiltrate. Not only that, but you literally don't, because you're not engaging in a back and forth firefight, as soon as you detonate that mine, you drop the detonator or if it's something like a cell phone you can literally just pocket it and walk away and you are a civilian again right it's a really really devastating tactic of course you have to make sure the mine is concealed because drivers are not blind or stupid you also often want to inform the local population and we had this happen where the local population would know that hey there's an IED buried IEDs are of course the military the US militaryism for improvised explosive devices or basically do it yourself mines and yeah, locals would absolutely know, you would see, and that's why one of the sort of instincts you start to rely on as a combat unit is your, well, instincts, your sense of normal in a region. Uh, this is one of the reasons why the first hundred days are considered the most dangerous of a deployment. It's because you have to learn what normal feels like so that when something abnormal happens, you can respond appropriately. And there were absolutely patrols that I've been on where I said, wow, for this time of day, this village, things are totally silent. Or, wow, there is no vehicle traffic when we would normally see 7, 10, 15, 20 vehicles passing by. Something is really not right here. And you will literally let that instinct just divert you around. You will make your right or left hand turn and you will totally change your plan based on this sense of something isn't right. And again, that's a function of the fact that locals will know far far before the occupying force does. 
that something has been planted, something is waiting for that force. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, I'm just getting down an anti tank mine. It's green, camel, fast. I'm just moving up on the flag with caution. Is this one of you in this truck coming down the road? I think it's civilian. He is about to blow a civilian. Yeah, civilian. If anyone needs medical supplies, the truck here has plenty of first aid kits. What? what? the fuck was that? Was that the civvy? But it's an anti-tank mine! Why would it go up? It's a civilian truck. It's a cargo truck. It has, I mean, in theory, it has cargo in it. This is a completely reasonable thing that would happen. It's an oh my god, you <laughs> moron. Are you serious? You put an anti-tank mine on the fucking main <laughs> But, but they don't- The main fucking road! You put an anti-tank mine on the main fucking road that civilians use! How fucking dumb are you? I think we've learnt a valuable lesson here today. Missions have been loading all day, people have been having continual problems. Just doing some content doing changes right now, now to make sure, because right now this happens when I shoot people's chests. Oh, okay. uh, die. <laughs> Uh, as opposed to what? <laughs> well, you, life. Don't, you don't go down and get a chance to be revived. You oh, just, I'm yeah, with you. Just yeah, just, just... <laughs> <laughs> you shoot people in the chest and they fall down dead. That's wrong, clearly. Yeah, I might load up my, uh, yeah, not my chinny can't drive. Not Neville is shit. <laughs> Cyanide likes Willy. Edberg is gay. There it is. Digby is a twat. <laughs> That's my loadout. There we go. Perfect. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let's, let's take a look. Let's see if we can back this up just a little bit. And take a look. Gay. There it is. Digby is a twat. That's my there look. we go. The ball cap and NVGs do not work together. You can see it. They just don't work together. You have to be able to put them down. Also, also, this sort of bothers me. Okay, this dude's got a rail system on his M4. Or no, that's an M16. That's a full length. He's got a rail system on his M16. Cool. If you want any kind of optic, anything at all on the top rail, you can see the iron sights are kind of in the way. So you want to either remove the iron sights or or get one of these special mounts that mount an optic or a rail to the iron sight itself, to the can't carry handle, this thing right here. Sorry, just a brief gun rant. Loadout, there we go, perfect. Are those the names of your loadout? They're all very accurate. <laughs> so I'm going to lead a strike team against the factory. We're going to take demo charges and try and blow it the fuck up. Simple. Okay, blue team, focus on that. 220. Rest of the squad, advance, bearing 300. Weapons free, attack the factory. How many satchels do you have? Uh, one, two, three, four, and a little one. Okay. Got, here we go. Place. Okay, squad, we're leaving. Please start moving, bearing 120 the way we came. Right, I really hope this works. Uh, okay, Vespa, when you're ready. Okay, when you blow something up like a factory, especially if it is a factory that has explosive materials, you do not want to be that close, right? You have to remember, if this is, let's say, a fertilizer factory or a nitrate factory, this explosion could be monstrous, and it could shoot debris for hundreds and hundreds of meters. So the fact that they are 300 meters away uh, behind some rock, probably dangerously close. Fire in your hole. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? That factory doesn't look very destroyed. No, god damn it. It's actually really hard to destroy a building, right? You want to target sensitive equipment or, again, set off material in the factory that's also explosive or flammable. I might have a really dumb idea. Okay. We need to sacrifice one car. You're gonna drive in as a car bomb? No. He's, <laughs> he's uh, strapping bombs uh, on it. I, I, I haven't finished playing for this yet. When you say car bomb, it sounds really not nice. That is a car bomb. This is a mobile explosive device, not a car bomb. Can you arm them with the uh, clacker? Well, why don't you have a dead man switch? I don't have one. I, I have one here. Do you switch. want a dead man switch? I wonder if this car would count as incognito with all these bombs. <laughs> yeah, that's not <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna shut up and, and you know, you got you got a plan. Well, uh, the other question is, why do they have a hind? Yeah, are you gonna go Aizen or do you want me to drive it in? There's an extra, there's an extra... Oh god. ...device in the car in a backpack, by the way, if you want another one. <laughs> Make sure you leave space on the windscreen. No, well, there's no point because we can drive it. But if Azen just hot foots it in, the oh, 
God, my ears. That was so loud. Good Lord. Right. Somebody just detonated one of the explosives. Aizen disconnected and he was wearing the dead man switch. <laughs> Guys. Yeah. It happens all the time. Routinely, I would see intel reports of insurgent blow self up, bomb factory destroyed. This is exactly why this happens. This is why explosives are handled by specialists here in 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 in, in, in the pro government world. Are you really? <laughs> oh no! You're kidding! You are genuinely fucking with me right now. Oh my god! This clan is a shit show. Good hits. Good hits. Yep, that's those. Nope, it's not. No, 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 you got it, you got it. Uh, oh, you're fucking uh, still joking. Drone in the Fuck you, uh, armor. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Fuck you. <laughs> Quick question. Uh -huh. Can we not fight the Americans? We can. We can. We can. Yeah, I'm so fucking sick of Russian stuff and Russian vehicles. We've done it the last three games. Like, it's let's just fucking switch it up. If you want Americans, my left, if you're looking at me, if you want the same shit. Wait. What? Hang on, I'm wait, so wait, confused. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to be genuine terrorists. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, this could get interesting, folks. It seems that we've decided to genuinely play as insurgents fighting democracy. Right. No chanting death to America. Aww. Okay. A little bit of death to America. Yay! Oh god. Oh god, guys. Things are only going to get stranger from here. As you know, uh, if you liked my commentary then, you're going to love my commentary in the future ones. Of course, let me know in the comments uh, if you want more insurgency tips. In Armor 3. Um, other than that, guys, that's all I got for you. Uh, I'll see you in the next one.